Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and today we're making a video to promote our new turrets, which are hydraulic. We will be using these turrets on our larger lathes, such as the 3120 that it's mounted on today. So what do you say we get started? As you can tell, we're out in the factory today, so it's a little bit noisier in the background, um, but that's easier than moving this bad boy over to the showroom. So uh, anyway, just to give you an idea, first of all, this is a hydraulic turret so because of that it comes with the hydraulic pump and all the accessories to make it work one of the differences is that there's no homing process for this turret so when i turn it on and the machine is booted up it's all set and ready to go uh, as you can tell here i'm in the dro mode and if i want to change turret positions i simply just select which position i want to go to like position number two and then it'll tell me when i'm ready push go and then it'll automatically rotate. You'll notice that it moves out from its locked position, spins to the required location, and then comes back in and locks in position again. I'm gonna do that one more time just so you can see a little better. So I'm gonna to go to position eight. I've only got three tools in there right now so you have an idea. Push go, like so. Okay, so that gives you a pretty good idea how it works. Uh, most of the 3120 you've already seen in other videos, so you know how the rest of that stuff works accordingly. I've got quite a large piece of 1018 in the spindle right now, and we're gonna do a little bit of cutting on here just so you can see how that works too. I've got a simple program in here. As you can tell, it's just a cycle program where I'm taking a little material off of here. I'm running this at, uh, at 250 surface foot and uh, 12 thousandths per revolution in case you wondered. So I'm gonna go to run mode and I'm gonna to go to start, right? And then when it tells me so, it says turn the spindle on and either push tracking or push go. You guys know me, I'm gonna to go to tracking and just make sure I'm in the right place. It's a little hard to tell sometimes. You'll notice that it changed its position, so I just wanna get in here and make sure I'm where I wanna be without getting in the way too much. And I think it's gonna actually cut a little air till I get to that first step. All right, there we go. So we're gonna just hit stop, CNC run, and let it go. I'm not cutting with any coolant today. So because of that, uh, it's probably gonna throw some chips out the door and uh, they will be hot, so nobody touch those, please. We got one on my head. So I'm just gonna come out here and just move it away just so you can hear me again. So you kind of have an idea of how the turret works. It's pretty simple. It works like all our other turrets other than the fact that it is hydraulic, okay? Um, we're doing some testing on it. So we're being able to take the same type of cuts that we could take with the standard tool post in case you were wondering. And uh, the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. So if you have some other questions about this, by all means, reach out to your local track rep. I'm sure he'll get the rest of the answers for you. As always, you can contact me here at the home office and I'd be happy to help you as well. Until then, I'll see you in the next video and remember as always to keep on tracking.